In the contemplation of the absence of close friendships, one man likened the rarity of true companionship to that of a precious diamond, emphasizing the multitude of imitations that abound. Reflecting on past mistakes, he expressed a sense of disillusionment, questioning whether genuine connections were merely elusive forgeries. A fellow participant in the conversation acknowledged the value of a true friend as an invaluable treasure, expressing regret at the scarcity of such loyal and valuable companions. When probed about his apparent preference for solitude, the individual clarified that it was not a fondness for being alone, but a conscious decision to avoid forming new connections stemming from past disappointments. Amidst this discourse, a serene clearing housed a majestic oak tree, away from the well-trodden paths. With sturdy branches and dense leaves, it offered shade and shelter. A curious boy, a natural explorer, discovered this hidden gem during his forest adventures. The boy and the oak formed a unique bond. The tree became a trusted confidant for the boy, who sought solace in its branches. As the boy matured, however, his visits to the oak dwindled. New friends and interests occupied his time, leaving the oak in solitude. Eventually, the young man returned, burdened with financial struggles. The oak, eager to assist, proposed the harvesting and sale of its acorns. Though initially hesitant, the young man agreed, promising a swift return. Time passed, and the promised return never materialized. The oak, once a source of joy and laughter, stood desolate, yearning for the companionship it had cherished. The poignant tale unfolded, illustrating the fragility of connections and the enduring impact of solitude on both man and nature. After numerous years, the grown man returned to the tranquil clearing, bearing the weight of life's disappointments and unfulfilled dreams. Despite the pain of abandonment, the oak tree felt compassion for the weary man. It offered its sturdy branches as a foundation for a new beginning, suggesting the construction of a home. Accepting the offer, the man built his house, finding solace within its walls. However, as time passed and he established a new life, he once again forgot the oak that had provided him shelter. In a later stage of life, feeling aged and lonely, the man decided to fulfill his desire to explore the world. Regrettably, he cut down the oak's trunk to craft a boat, leaving behind the remains of his once trusted friend. The oak's trunk, reduced to a stump, stood silent and still. Yet from this seemingly final chapter, a new sprout emerged, grew, and flourished into a robust oak. It observed the ebb and flow of life, witnessing the continuity of existence. When a curious child approached, seeking friendship, the new oak remained silent, drawing wisdom from the tale of its predecessor. In reflecting on this narrative, it became apparent that within every cynical person lies a disappointed idealist who may have once been someone's oak. The story implores understanding and patience for those who struggle to form connections, highlighting that past disappointments may shape one's reluctance to trust. The narrative concludes with a powerful message. You have the capacity to be an agent of change. By embodying the qualities of an oak with boundaries, one can become a true friend, teaching others the art of genuine connection. It encourages empathy and a proactive approach to fostering trust and friendship in a world that sometimes makes it challenging to believe in such bonds. Over time, the oak learned to trust anew, thanks to the child's unwavering patience and perseverance. The bond that blossomed between them illustrated that while friendship may be intricate, it possesses the transformative power to bring joy and meaning to one's life. As the friendship flourished, so did hope in the oak's heart, ultimately restoring its trust. This tale became a legendary reminder in the community that genuine and enduring friendships can prevail even after disappointments and skepticism. Beyond this narrative, there are fascinating insights into the profound benefits of friendships and social relationships for our health and well-being. Close friendships act as crucial pillars of support by reducing stress. Having someone to rely on and share worries with significantly lessens the impact of stress. Social interactions trigger the release of hormones like oxytocin, not only reducing stress, but also fostering a sense of calm. In terms of emotional well-being, 
Friendships offer comfort and joy in moments of happiness and support in times of sorrow. Studies show that having close friends is correlated with greater satisfaction and an overall improvement in emotional well-being. Social connections also play a pivotal role in boosting the immune system. Positive relationships enhance the body's defenses, enabling individuals to better fend off illnesses and recover more swiftly. The impact of social relationships extends to longevity, with studies indicating that those with strong social connections tend to live longer. Close friendships and an active social network are linked to greater longevity, with the positive effects comparable to quitting smoking or maintaining a regular exercise routine. Additionally, social relationships contribute to reducing the risk of depression. Individuals with solid social connections have a lower risk of developing depression, and if they do, tend to experience less severe symptoms. Social support plays a crucial role in overcoming depression and other mental health conditions. Lastly, close friendships contribute to increased self-esteem, providing a sense of belonging and validation. The profound interconnectedness of social relationships highlights the multifaceted impact they have on our overall well-being, emphasizing their role as vital components of a fulfilling and healthy life. The benefits of close friendships extend to fostering higher self-esteem and confidence. Friends play a pivotal role in providing positive feedback and contributing to the development of a positive self-image. Additionally, strong friendships are linked to healthy behaviors. Having friends who prioritize exercise, healthy eating, and an active lifestyle positively influences one's own lifestyle choices. Camaraderie goes beyond influencing personal habits. It is fundamental in shaping emotional fortitude. Companions who offer emotional support during challenging times enhance our ability to face and transcend difficulties. Friendships and social interactions contribute not only to joy, but also to overall health and well-being. The investment in nurturing and preserving meaningful social relationships aligns with Stoic teachings, emphasizing the importance of inner virtue and wisdom for a good life. Empathy plays a crucial role in this context. The ability to understand and share the feelings of others strengthens emotional bonds and enriches interpersonal relationships. Empathy fosters understanding, trust, and effective conflict resolution. It also promotes tolerance, encouraging openness to diversity and respect for differences in culture, religion, and social backgrounds. Human connection, characterized by a sense of belonging and closeness, is vital for emotional well-being. Those who experience such connection tend to be happier, less prone to depression, and enjoy greater life satisfaction. Meaningful interpersonal relationships act as a shield against stress, lowering cortisol levels. Compassion and human bonding enhance the ability to overcome adversities, fostering personal growth and sustaining individual development. Research suggests that robust social connections contribute to a longer life, emphasizing the quality of interpersonal interactions as a key element in achieving a long and healthy existence. Cultivating compassion and seeking meaningful human relationships are crucial for building positive and rewarding bonds that enrich lives and contribute to the development of empathetic, tolerant, and united communities. In the digital age, the landscape of friendships and social connections has undergone significant transformations. Social media and chat apps enable online friendships, transcending physical distances. Platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter revolutionize communication by providing continuous connections. However, concerns about privacy and personal exposure arise with excessive disclosure on the internet. Instant messaging apps reshape communication, fostering intimacy across long distances. Professional networking on platforms like LinkedIn opens doors to job opportunities and career development. The emergence of online communities allows people with similar interests to gather share knowledge, and form groups ranging from mutual support to discussion forums on specific topics. The digital era brings new dimensions to social dynamics, offering both opportunities and challenges in how we interact with one another. Attention to mental health has been significantly boosted by social media, providing a platform for individuals to share their experiences and seek support. 
However, the technological era comes with its challenges, including cyberbullying and social anxiety. The pressure to maintain an active online presence and the constant comparison can have negative effects on self-image and emotional well-being. Seneca's wisdom reminds us of the importance of using digital connectivity wisely and in moderation. Despite the prevalence of online relationships, it is crucial to strike a balance between virtual interactions and face-to-face -face relationships. In the midst of the loneliness crisis, many individuals, despite digital hyperconnectivity, experience a sense of seclusion. This has led to increased awareness of the importance of social bonds, giving rise to initiatives to address the isolation crisis. Loneliness, a growing issue in contemporary society, is marked by feelings of abandonment and a lack of substantial interactions, even in this hyperconnected era. Numerous factors contribute to loneliness, including reduced face-to-face -face interactions, challenges in technology-immersed younger generations, and the failure of virtual relationships to compensate for the absence of authentic human communication. Stigma and embarrassment associated with admitting loneliness make seeking support challenging. Modern lifestyles, characterized by busy schedules and long work hours, often hinder the establishment of meaningful connections. Aging and the experience of loss, changes in family dynamics, and geographically dispersed families also contribute to isolation. Stoic wisdom emphasizes finding contentment within oneself and recognizing that the value of connections lies in quality and depth, not quantity. Social networks can exacerbate loneliness by inducing social comparisons, leading to negative consequences such as depression, anxiety, and other mental health disorders. Lonely individuals face an elevated risk of mental and physical health issues, including heart disease, weight gain, and reduced life expectancy. Loneliness can also impact cognitive performance, especially in the elderly, creating a cycle of social isolation. Addressing the loneliness crisis requires a multifaceted approach, including raising awareness, educating about its impacts, encouraging the formation of local communities and social activities, providing emotional support and therapy, and promoting active participation in social and community events. Tackling loneliness is a complex challenge that necessitates a thoughtful and comprehensive strategy. Reducing the stigma associated with loneliness is a critical aspect of addressing the issue, encouraging people to seek help and support within their communities globally. Cultivating friendships holds paramount importance, as research demonstrates that older adults with active social lives and intimate relationships enjoy a superior quality of life and greater longevity. Long-lasting relationships, developed at different life stages, significantly impact mental and physical health, providing happiness, emotional support, and numerous benefits. Stoic philosophy guides us to focus on what is within our control and actively take steps to form and maintain meaningful connections. It emphasizes finding satisfaction and contentment within ourselves rather than solely relying on external sources for happiness. Examining friendships throughout life reveals their pivotal role in social and emotional skill development. Childhood and adolescent friendships lay foundations for future relationships, serving as adventure partners and pillars of trust. In youth, friendships diversify, shaping social identity and offering support during significant life changes. In maturity, friendships revolve around family, career, and common interests, providing essential emotional and practical support. In old age, friendships remain vital, offering a support network after retirement and the loss of loved ones. The undeniable relevance of friendships for mental health is evident. Strong friendship ties correlate with lower rates of depression and loneliness. Frequent social interaction fosters emotional well-being, and intimate friendships provide a safe space for expressing feelings, mitigating stress, and boosting self-confidence. Long-standing friends become crucial support during difficult times. Research indicates that individuals with strong social ties tend to have greater longevity and a superior quality of life. Lifelong friendships facilitate personal growth, learning, and mutual acceptance, enriching individual development.
To preserve friendships, transparent and compassionate communication is essential. Investing quality time and adapting to changes in friends' personalities and situations are vital. Lifelong friendships are pillars of emotional support and well-being, offering joy, comfort, and a sense of belonging throughout life's various stages. The essence of relationships lies in quality rather than quantity. A small circle of sincere and loyal friends holds immeasurable significance compared to an extensive list of superficial acquaintances. Maintaining quality in numerous connections can be challenging, but in close friendships, emotional and practical support is authentic and enduring. Honesty and transparency are crucial, fostering an environment of genuineness that encourages continuous education and lifelong learning. Stepping out of the comfort zone, facing challenges, and developing empathy for diverse perspectives promote self-esteem, genuineness, tolerance, and respect. The journey of self-discovery, enriched by authentic relationships, serves as a foundation for personal and professional development. Reflecting on the importance of cultivating relationships based on virtue and mutual respect, we draw inspiration from Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes that deep and meaningful connections are integral to a full and happy life. Friendships rooted in honesty and understanding not only enrich life, but align with the stoic pursuit of wisdom and well-being. In the quest for authentic connections, valuing quality over quantity becomes fundamental, promoting truly enriching and lasting relationships. Learning from both romantic and friendship relationships contributes to emotional development, refining skills such as effective communication, conflict resolution, and the ability to provide mutual support. Everyday challenges become opportunities to cultivate problem-solving skills, enhancing our capacity to discover creative solutions. Experiences with diversity, interacting with individuals from various cultures, beliefs, and backgrounds, enrich our appreciation for diversity and, and foster tolerance. An open and positive approach to these experiences expands our knowledge, skills, and nourishes our soul and heart. The practice of self-care is underscored as essential. Taking care of oneself is viewed as a profound act of self-love, crucial for maintaining emotional and physical balance. Acknowledging the signs of one's body and mind and caring for oneself are seen as acts of love and personal necessity. These reflections conclude the video, inviting viewers to share their opinions in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and activate notifications encouraging continued exploration of Stoicism for its valuable lessons in daily life. The video emphasizes the importance of subscribing and leaving a like. The closing sentiment wishes well-being for everyone with the Creator.